So I'm going to show you how to stain a gel. This would be similar to if you purchase a dyes kit that has to be stained or if you actually are using real biological DNA samples. Um, today we're just staining a gel that was run with dyes. And so if you don't have whey boats or staining trays, you can improvise like we did. All we did was after some tips are empty, you can just rip off the lid and use that. It's the perfect size little tray to stain a gel in. And so we're going to go ahead and this is um, a fast stain. It's called Flash Blue. And so it's very concentrated. It's actually 10x concentrated. And we're just going to go ahead and pour this in. And you want to make sure that it completely covers the gel. So you're going to fill that up until it's covered. I always like to keep some paper towels handy to catch any drips before they hit the lab bench. And then this only needs to stain for five minutes because it's so concentrated. So we're going to wait five minutes and then we'll destain so that we can look at our results. Destaining takes approximately 20 minutes to 30 minutes and it's best if it's shaking. So we'll go ahead and show you how to destain next after five minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes. We're going to go ahead and get rid of our stain. And so to do that, you can pour this into your trash, you can pour it down the sink. I'm going to go ahead and just pour it back to the bottle so that it's easier to dispose of and it doesn't stain my sink. So I've just got a funnel that fits into my bottle. I've also got this sitting on a paper towel and some wax paper because I don't want to stain my lab bench. Okay, and just very carefully pour off as much stain from the gel as you're able to get out of there. Make sure you don't stain your fingers. So any stain you get on your gloves, immediately pat that dry so you don't get it on your clothing. Okay, and I'm just going to set this here. Okay, and make sure to recap this so in case I knock it over, nothing gets on my lab bench. Okay, so now this is very darkly stained. We need to go ahead and de-stain this. The gel has absorbed the stain in these five minutes, and we're going to go ahead and de-stain. And the easiest way to do that is to just add some distilled water. Again, making sure that it completely covers the gel. And then some. Okay. Now, if your lab has access to a shaker, you want to have this gently shaking, so you wouldn't want to overfill it. If you don't have a shaker, just have your students or yourself come and agitate it every once in a while. And you don't want to change out the water more than three times. So this can sit overnight, or you can do it in as little as 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your time schedule.